Welcome everyone, my name is Daniel Magyar, I'm recording for Anglevil TV and today I will show you the Asus Transformers book which is here right now, the, uh, the actual product number is uh, T100T uh, this one is here, it's a uh, 64 gigs of version here which is uh, inside of the tablet and the keyboard has 500 gigabytes of HDD in the inside. This version costs about um, 470 euros on the market, and uh, the other version is this, uh, the 32 gigs of RAM in the inside. Uh, the gigab gigabytes of the tablet is uh, around 500 euros less than it was, as I said before, so it's around 420 euros. And there is another version which has a uh, note included any HDD of the keyboard docking station. It's around uh, 500 euros less too, so um, it's about 370 euros on the market. So let's see how it looks like if I'm just uh, opening the, uh, the product. Okay. This is the, the maximum brightness right now. I will compare with the iPad mini the brightness, how it looks like. So this is the maximum right now. Let's just check the iPad mini near to each other. I will just make it maximum too. This is the maximum uh, brightness. Okay, I will just open, for example, a widescreen by the Asus Transformer books too. The touchpad not working really well and it sounds a bit... Uh, it's made by plastic so it's really noisy if, I, if you just touch it and not working uh, so fast as I want. So the wide, wide screen right now behind it's, uh, it's a bit nicer by the, uh, by the iPad mini but I think it's okay so the maximum um, brightness by the Asus is okay, it looks pretty nice let's just make the minimum brightness here and I will turn to the minimum brightness here to the Apple one and uh, it looks pretty good I think you can read really easily uh, by the night for example it won't hurt your eyes or uh, you just can use it pretty well uh, at the night for example with this minimum so it's, it looks nice I think I will make it maximum again okay let's just see um, how is it reacting uh, for example if I'm just undocking this state from the station the tablet you can see here this is the two size so we get the, the 64 gigs of version gigabytes version here from the tablet uh, which from this one, from this size, you can use only uh, 50 gigabytes because of system of the system in the inside and there is the uh, 500 uh, gigabytes of HDD in the inside, it's already docked so let's just undock it and you can see, yeah, it's gone so you cannot see it right now let's just dock it again just plug it again and and already it's there so it's reacting really fast you there is no uh, charging uh, plug-in by this uh, keyboard dock station so it's pretty good you you shouldn't charge it if you wouldn't want so there is another um, just to compare for example we got a Samsung uh, Ative Tab 3 here now we show you for example uh, this one this um, keyboard docking station has got a plug-in to uh, charge it there it is so you can uh, for example use this one with micro USB I think uh, it's a bit worse that uh, you can you have to uh, bring with yourself for example charging uh, play uh, charging uh, cables uh, for for the tablet and uh, and there's a different one, for example, here by the uh, by the tab three, uh, at the at tab three. So you can charge with two different uh, cables, the docking station and the the tablet, for example, here by the by the Samsung. So it's pretty uh, good and it's um, it's much more comfortable, for example, by this Asus. Uh, 
uh, tablet that you can just use it without any connections just charge the tablet for example and you don't have to charge the the uh, the keyboard docking station too and it's impressive I think that they made 500 gigs in the inside okay let's just uh, see how is it reacting for example for, for multi-touching I have a program for this one but it's freeze right now I don't know what's happening and you can hear I'm just making a knocking here by the plastic and it's really noisy so it's, it's not it's not working well right now I don't know why let's just undock it maybe that's reacting that's freeze there so the brightness uh, changing option is freeze there I don't want to change any brightness thing right now but it's freezed I will try to do anything but I cannot so it's freezed okay let's just start it again I will restart okay we have three programs already installed in this uh, product so it's a pretty bad thing that it's, it's freezed and there is a quadrate, uh, quad core processor in the inside right now okay let's just start it it's not working I just push it again the power button and top but it's not reacting fast okay now after the third uh, I'm just try it third time and it's working right now I hope it's gonna be faster than the last one and it won't, won't be freezed for example okay it was very fast and I started I will just log in okay so it's there the brightness menu is still there I don't know why I restarted it but let's just see this didn't appear so it's still there and I just can't search anything it's pretty slow mm -hmm. if I just wanna as you can see by the, by the top there is the, the brightness uh, percent right now and it's not working so it's fully freezed and there is only uh, three programs in the inside we got uh, 3d mark uh, multi-touch tester and uh, and it's not reacting so it's it's docked but it's not reacting right now okay we'll just try to undock it again and if it's not working I will uh, bring the data cable and I'll try to charge it because it's right now it's in 32 percent but it's not working well I will try to search I cannot okay just wait a second I will bring the data cable and I hopefully can use it after this one it's in the box still in the box okay I logged in oh, and the the, uh, the brightness uh, changing option is uh, appeared so it's not there already I hope I can search now okay it's working so you don't have to connect I don't know what happened this freeze but right now it's working I will maximize the brightness and as you can see there is no number to show the percent right now when it's when it was freeze there was a uh, hundred percent always to show okay let's just test the multi-touch okay one two three four five and the um, Asus already said it's five point to react with the screen so I will just push my six, uh, sixth finger and there is no re reaction so it's okay it's really working with five uh, fingers maximum okay let's just test for example the 3d mark we already used it and we tested it with the full HD test uh, this one here let's just see what happened my, with my device yeah there is a point which is reached uh, 8822 uh, let's just compare with other devices 
for example and you can see for example HP Omni 10 it's uh, reaching less score and uh, now it's um, actually it's a bit higher score right now here and for example the Asus uh, Nexus 7 uh, is here it's a bit below and, uh, of this score so it's pretty good I think uh, the graphic in the graphic test one it's reached uh, 44 FPS which is maximum which is pretty good and, uh, and by the level 2 test it reached uh, 28 uh, FPS is which is um, actually pretty good too so you, you won't have any problems with your hardware in the inside let's just see other details what we can see about this product if it's correct uh, hopefully it's correct with the box what we already read for you guys it's a uh, Intel Atom uh, Z3740 uh, uh, in the inside by the, uh, by the chipset is that one so it's working 1.32 GHz quad-core processor and uh, there is 2 gigs of RAM in the inside okay it's 550 grams uh, so it's pretty good I think it's the same heavy as for example the um, the Atif Tab 3 from Samsung this is the uh, 64 gigabytes of version EPS panel in the inside so it's uh, the display type is IPS the resolution is not 100 and uh, 1366 uh, to uh, 700 uh, version it's about uh, 800 to uh, 1280 pixels the battery is uh, eight around 8000 uh, milliampere hours so it's pretty good it's impressive and there is the font camera is 1.2 megapixels okay let's just see another test for example let's just play with the uh, mini rush you already downloaded it um, for this tablet the touchpad not working pretty well so I think it's a bit noisy to write with this one um, it's a bit close every every number and every uh, details too uh, close to each other I will search for the mini rush okay Let's just start to play. I will use the touch screen, I think. Okay. This is the maximum volume right now what I'm using. Okay. It's reacting fast. I can't feel any freezing effect. Okay, I'm now, now by the docking, but it's not working. I don't know why. I tried the arrows, but it, not, it wasn't working. Okay, revive. I hope it's gonna work right now. No, no, it's not working. So it only works with the with the with the touch screen. Okay, it's up to continue. Okay. I will revive myself again, but I don't know why it's not working. So it should be work with the with the arrow keys, but it's not working right now. So okay, it's not freezing. It works pretty fast, but of, of course it's not a high graphic game, so I don't expect any freezing effect in the inside right now if I'm playing with this one. Okay. Okay, let's just finish with this one. I think uh, the resolution for this one, I cannot see any pixels uh, right now or any mistake here. It's working pretty fast. Oh, and now actually I can move, but it's pretty slow. I moved with the arrow keys uh, by displaying. I just turn on the volume a bit. And so I just. Uh, 
this one was moved uh, here with the arrow keys when I just had to um, move and, and uh, uh, play with this uh, around but I think it's uh, I don't know why it's not reacting by the other just if, if I just run for example and not sliding by this game okay I will just uh, go back to the menu okay the screen is pretty bright I think it's it's working well for this version I think it's a bit uh, expensive but for example the uh, 32 gigs of RAM in the inside and the 500 uh, gigabytes of the keyboard docking station is a pretty good price for the uh, 420 euros estimated for that one I think if I'm not mistaken it's a pretty good device it's not heavy uh, as you as you saw um, by the 3D Mark test, uh, it's 550 grams, so it's a half kilogram. I use the touch screen, but uh, I cannot see any dust uh, right now. If I just uh, turn it off right now, there is a bit dusty uh, from the uh, from the uh, docking place. It's it has some dust there so I will just clean it a bit but it's really good I think it's comfortable to use the the keyboard wasn't so uh, good as I expected it's a bit noisy yeah you can hear that and uh, and of course there is a 3.0 um, USB to connect for example a mouse to use thank you for watching this was the short video test a test video about the Asus Transformer book. It's a T100 uh, and T. Uh, you can comment anything what you want, and please subscribe on our channel. Thank you very much. I was Daniel Modjer. And next time, see you. Bye.